my first time in the USA. Excited to see what she's going to be checking out of America. Really looking forward to getting into this. Before we do, appreciate if you guys can hit subscribe button. Let's see what we got. After years of exploring the most remote corners of Asia, it okay. is time for a brand new adventure. Welcome to my first journey to the United States. To USA. get here, I embarked on an epic journey, starting with a breathtaking flight to Iceland, then on to Chicago, saying goodbye to Iceland, and right now on the way to Chicago. Chicago. Flying over the most stunning landscapes of Greenland. Hey, there's no one on that plane, mate. Where are they? These views were absolutely spectacular, and this is going to be the beginning of my journey in so the United cool. States. Look at that. Bro, that looks so... Uh, like, what is this? <laughs> like, why is it just like... It's just someone just... I don't even know what object you would call it. Like, mountain. Is it a mountain? I don't know. Just stick it out if you don't know it. Yo, look at that. Bro, it's beautiful, man. It is beautiful. <laughs> Gorgeous. And just like that, it is my first morning in Chicago City. This place blows my mind. Look at all the insanely high buildings behind me. I am Unreal. not used to being a city girl, and this is definitely so new for me. And right now I made it to one of the most famous spots in Chicago, that and that is the famous Bean. Yep. Look how stunning this place is. I love the architecture here. It is so fun to walk around and to see yourself in the reflection. Yo, I would love to do this, man. What, what's like the best time to visit Chicago, do you reckon? I will quickly show you guys how it looks like in the reflection because you can see all these beautiful high buildings in the bean as well. Okay. Yo, that is sick. Yo, what's the so point? Like, see... what, what is the bean exactly? Like, why did someone put it there? Like, does it symbolize anything or does it have any meaning or is it just summer cool that's in the middle of Chicago? Yeah, I love it so much. You have the bean here and then all the high buildings there. Uh, what I love most here is that there are so many tourists from all over the world. The people here are so nice, so calm, so relaxed. Everyone is just coming here, looking at the bean, marveling at the architecture. And there's just a really, really nice vibe here. It is so nice. Yo, it is cool. Do you know what I love about America when I see these videos is how clean America is. So clean. Yo, that is beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. The water is so like... It's like it's a different kind of shade of blue. It's like a bluey green, but like it, it, it's a nice, you know what I mean? It's not brown like the UK. It is time to get some brunch. And right now I am at Goddess and the Bakery and I love this place so much. Yeah. The prices here are a little bit more expensive than what I am used to actually. I just paid for two people $40. So that is around $20 per person oh, okay. for breakfast plate and for coffee as well. Oh. So that is not what I'm used to, but the quality of the food is actually really, really nice. Yo, that is quite pricey like compared to like um from what i've seen that, that's like a small dish as well and it is so cozy inside chicago is expensive Yo, that coffee as you can looks see good, it is though. very very windy we just finished our brunch and right now we're walking to a few other spots because we want to enjoy the city and see more of the city but as you can see it's so windy my time here in chicago has been very windy and also yeah, what i wanted to <laughs> yo with this wind going crazy i'm surprised we could even hear it show you what i think is really interesting is that you have two level of streets here i am not used to it what do you mean? so right now i am walking down here as you can see this is the down level and then oh, here okay. you can walk as well and to me you know what we actually have some of these in the uk that do go under um, I feel like they're not really building them anymore. It's kind of like a thing that's disappearing. But where I am um, in Nottingham, where my family live, there is a couple of them. It's pretty new because I never really experienced it. That there are two sides where you can walk. And we're now going to the bottom side. And we have a stranger here again. Thank you so much. Oh, by the way, this is my good friend Ty. And he oh, will no, be my travel that. buddy for the next few weeks. I love it. It's only a little bit cold down here, but it's only because it's super, super windy. Right. Look how beautiful that looks. Look at that. 
Yeah, it's unreal, isn't it? Right now we ended up on Lakefront Trail. As you can see here behind me already a little bit, and right here, there's this whole trail alongside the lake. And the lake here in Chicago is so big. It literally looks like an ocean, only there's no salt water. Here you can see the lake. There are huge... Wait, yo, bro, this blows my mind every time because I've seen it before. The, the lake, like, it's, it is a lake. The lake of Chicago, it actually looks like a whole ocean, bro. Huge waves. And then right next to the lake, you have these insanely high buildings everywhere, which I really love. It is a super distinct vibe than what I am used to. And everyone is bicycling here. You can walk here. You can skateboard here as well. You can go for a run. I really, really like it. You can just walk for a very, very long time. And you can even swim here in the lake because there is this beach. As and you can clean, see, I will show you. I imagine. Here you can see the beach and a lot of people enjoying it actually yeah that's actually cool bro it just looks so pretty like you know what like i actually wouldn't mind like i don't really like walking but i actually wouldn't mind taking a you know like a long walk around here to you know relax and just you know the vibe right like, we ain't really got anything like that in the uk like we actually don't Not, not pretty like this, mate. Not even close. So this is gonna be exciting for me. This is how it looks like the entrance. And then I'll just see where it leads me. So how does it work? <laughs> so we buy our tickets from here. Uh, over here, we can get like a day pass. Yo, it's so cool even seeing this to me because like you just see it on so many movies and stuff like that, bro. Uh, over here, we can get like a day pass. Okay. Probably be our best bet, maybe a day or two pass. Okay. There's one. Debit? Credit? Uh, debit. What's happening? Why is it beeping so much? Yay. Oh. Thank you. you just tap it like that. Tap it here. It did? Okay. That's so easy. You know what? I don't even know how the train systems really are in the UK. I've only ever gone on one train and it was like, uh, it was like kind of like a bus stop on the outside, kind of. <laughs> it was nothing like this. But I know we do have a, um, the London Underground and stuff. I really so. like it. We got out of the subway and look where we are. This is such a famous spot. This is the Chicago Theatre. And it is even better looking it in real cool. life than I that thought it would be. It is so, so beautiful. The building is absolutely stunning. It is pretty. Bro, any time I watch these kind of videos, my mind just automatically just goes to movies and shows and stuff. Like, what I've seen, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure I might even, even see that before in the movie. And after exploring Chicago for a few days, I had a final send off with the famous deep dish pizza, oh, okay. which was really good. Now Ooh. it is time to kick off our road trip across the country. First stop Denver, so let's go. We made it to Denver airport and right now it is the last boarding call for our last flight where we are heading off to right now. We're picking up our rental car and we have the dark blue color here. I actually think it's really- You know what? That will be- my scariest thing in America, I think, is driving for the first time on the other side of the road and all the different, you know, rules. Bro, that is... <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do it, bro. I don't know how I'm going <laughs> to... Cool. Look at our I'll place. Figure out. And this is our home for the next three weeks, I guess. First impressions are pretty good. Look at that packed out. We could sleep in here. Okay. Just like that, we're all saddled and in the car. And the first thing that we have to do on this epic road trip, I'll show you right now. Guess where we are? We just well, arrived wait. at Walmart. This is my first time ever and I'm so excited. We're gonna the stop up Walmart. on a lot of food and snacks and fruit and everything and just see my first impression here. Oh, yeah. I always see so many videos about this place that there's so much to buy. So I'm gonna see it for myself and just buy a lot of things for the upcoming weeks. Bro, Walmart is actually I didn't even ginormous. realize that they have clothes. Look at this. This is like a supermarket, but it's filled with clothes, which is definitely really new for me. And even Mad. swimwear. It's way too easy to bike rack. <laughs> like, yo, you can get clothes in our supermarkets, the big ones anyway. But, bro, it's just like a tiny section, man. There's not much to it. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I guess there's so much to see here. And I am not used to this, but I love it because you can basically buy everything. Look here at this. Oh, I might want this. That's so comfy. 
Oh my goodness. And even pajamas. I am in Wonderland right now. We're gonna have we're gonna see all the aisles and we're gonna take you guys along. Oh and even look at this, how nice. Many this is clothes. A nice pajama. <laughs> I love it. Look you, at know, you guys know where I would be in Walmart. Bro, look at this though. It just got, it looks like it goes on forever, mate. You know where I'd be in Walmart though. I'd be in the snack section. You know what I'm saying? Size of this. What? <laughs> this is crazy. That's huge. I've never seen candy this big in my life before. That's huge. That is huge. Look at this. This is what I used to play with as a kid, and I haven't seen this ever since. Hey, listen, if you guys aren't subscribed to my other channel, it's in the description, but we watch some horror stuff. I don't like dolls no more. Like, I kind of thought that was creepy anyway, but after watching, like, the horror clips with, like, the dolls and stuff like that, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, let, let, let's move on from the dolls. Look how nah, let's, many nah, they're creepy, dolls bro. they have here. I'm not like crying. This is the cutest thing ever. Look at this. Like, these are the bikes that you see, like that I would see in films and like movies and stuff. And also with this, I think it's so adorable. And even the helmets here, I'm like, look at this. That's the cutest thing ever. And swords, everything in one store. Like in the Netherlands, you have to go to different stores for yeah. everything and you have it all in one. That is the thing, like what I've seen from Walmart, like it pretty much has everything, you know what I mean? You could just go to Walmart and pretty much get what you need. Whereas, like, yeah, in a well, when we go shopping in the UK, like you, like our big stores do have a lot of the stuff. But I found like when I need specific things, like maybe a cable or something, then I gotta go to like a cable shop. <laughs> hey, <what's the> <laughs> I went for a second. <laughs> that was a second. I don't have it anymore. <gasps> oh, that's very heartbreaking. See, I'm getting old. I'm really getting old. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. But okay, ay, so you ay, pay ay. nine dollars for a hula hoop. Isn't that relatively a lot because it's so small? Yeah, that sounds pricey. <laughs> you pay nine euros for this. That sounds pricey. Yeah. I, I don't know how much hula hoops are anyway in the UK. I have no clue. I've, I've never bought one, but that sounds pricey, bro. It's like a lot. <laughs> it feels like a lot, Susan. It is a lot. <laughs> Welcome to America. I just love kids stuff and games so much. And walking around here, I feel like a kid again. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm sorry, but this is the best store ever. How can you not walk around in here for days and just like buying all of these things? <laughs> and this. Mate, she's oh. loving it. You know what? I think for the whole entire rest of the video, I don't think we even get to Wyoming, bro. I think, I think we just stayed in Walmart now. $10 for these. $10. I think it's interesting That's not to bad. see the prices. Because I think it is a bit more on the expensive side if you compare it to Europe and really? Asia. Really? That's Disney products, still, right? They have everything here. <gasps> oh, wait. Wait, wait. This brats. Oh, I used to play with this as a kid so much. Wow. Okay, I'm, I want to buy these things. <laughs> I want to buy everything. <laughs> Mate, she's like me in this aisle as I would be in any Star Wars aisle, dude. <laughs> That's just the best ever. It's so soft, but this is $35. Oh, wow. 35 but so soft, but 35 Damn. A little bit too much. That is expensive. <laughs> There's one more last surprise that Kai <laughs> wants to show me, and I don't know what it is. Okay. But he really wants my response to it, so we're gonna see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can't see. Are you ready? Uh, I'm ready. ready. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Welcome so, to the cereal aisle. This is crazy. There's so much cereal. I've never seen oh, it. Oh, you know what? I've seen the cereal aisle before in other videos. And yeah, you guys go above and beyond with your cereals, man. Like, bro, you have so many. In my whole life before. So many. Wait. There's like a whole aisle full with cereal. This is wild. The choice here is endless. I don't know how American people do it and not be like overstimulated all the time. Right. Because this is so difficult. There's too much choice here. The thing is though, when you live there, it's a lot different because you kind of know what you're going to get. So it's good that you guys have all those different variations and different options because yo, more choice is better, bro. More options. Wow. We paid in total $63.
and we have our whole card filled That's up not bad. for at least the next few days. So that is, I would say, definitely reasonable. We have snacks, yeah, we have food, bad. we have water, we have bread, we have even things to put on the bread. Yo, it's getting like really, really bad in the UK. I go to my local shop and it's only a tiny store and I'll get like the essentials like milk, bread. I've got like one bag full, less than what's in that car and it'll be like 40 about $60. So, first stop, done. It'll be about £40, which is about 50 some dollars. So, after Walmart, we've been driving for two hours and we still have two more hours to go. It is a total of four hours and 15 minutes to go to the place where we're staying tonight. And then tomorrow we'll have... Yo, let me guess, they're still in the same, uh, same state, right? Bro, four hour travel, you'll be out of the UK. Epic adventure, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, lovely people from an insanely windy- Hello, school bus in the middle of nowhere. Is this the middle of nowhere? This is over the road. Mud. Wait, do yellow school buses like travel really far for the pickup? Well, five hours further. This was such a long drive. We are arriving at our destination, and yeah. I've been seeing the first sights already, and it is truly epic. Oh wow! Oh, do you know what you guys was telling me we need to do in my stream? By the way, if you're not in my Twitch, you need to join it. twitchtv L3WG. We talk there live, have conversations. But you guys were telling me when I go to America, we need a plan like a um, like a, uh, a what did it say? Like a late cabin party, not party, but late cabin get together or something, bro. You know what? Like you see on the movies, that would be so dope, bro. Like cabins around like a lake in America. Oh my god, yo. That is so this place, I, for the first time ever in my life, I see prairie dogs. They're very small. I didn't even see them at first time. What they are dogs? so cute. Oh my God. They're eating and they're standing up straight. It's the most adorable thing ever. But look, I can show you guys already where we are. Insane. Oh, is that called Devil's Tower? Is that actually called Devil's Tower? I am not often speechless, but I'm completely left speechless by this. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this no, in my same. entire life. Look at where I am. The light is perfect. We are here now with sunset and the light is hitting the rock. Yo, it so, does look so cool. beautiful. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's there. I don't know how it's there because it's literally just a middle. It's just like a piece of rock in the middle of nowhere, kind of just flatlands, right? <laughs> Normally mountains are with mountains, right? But yo, hey, it looks cool. Climb this rock, which is mind-blowing ah. to me. But this is so insanely beautiful. Everywhere is flat. And then in the middle of nowhere, you have this huge rock coming yeah, out of the cool. ground. Yeah, it's cool. It's <laughs> cool. Now that you guys saw how absolutely magical this place is the sun has set but look at the sky this yeah, feels like beautiful. true fairy tale land the colors are popping off and the clouds are forming in ways i've never seen before it is truly stunning there are huge eagles flying above this rock which unfortunately i can't show you because they are too high but this place okay. is so so pretty and i don't understand why there are no other people i am the only person here even at the parking lot here's our car and there's one other car and no people to be seen yo is this devil's tower like out the way for like tourists to really go to or you like what is the reason why there's no one there and the sky <gasps> you'd think it would be wow. right i am in awe this place is such a bucket list for everyone recommend it wow oh breakfast time this morning i went for a quick coffee. coffee run at this super cute local cafe i absolutely feel very fresh and energized to start again the road trip today but before we go i wanted to show you the main area of the motel i okay. think this is so so crazy because we are in the wild Ooh, west huh. in wyoming and you can really see it here so let me show you what i mean all right okay yeah Wild West. Figuring out which 
gas to take because actually we don't know. So that was $44, which is definitely not too bad. That's way cheaper than in the Netherlands. Oh, you know what? I've heard a lot about your gas prices being a lot cheaper than ours. Like, it's actually, uh, I swear it's like double. Ours is double to yours. Peanut butter sandwich stop. So much needed. This is the lunch during the trip. I'm all here for it. It is now probably six hours later. We've been driving in the middle of nowhere for such a long time. There were so many times when we were the only car there. And as you maybe can see, we are on a very, very bumpy road. It is the last 15 minutes of this insanely long drive. The road is absolutely stunning and the temperature changed big time because I am wearing my sweater right now and it is way colder because we are up in the mountains. It is so cold. Oh my God, I have Yo, my- Yo, it's actually mad how like different, how in America, you got such different climates, bro. You know what I mean? Like traveled eight hours, it looked hot, now it's freezing. Leggings on, I have my sweater on right now. It's a five minute hike. But they are wrong, really, really to be curious, fair. But it is so cold. Here we are arriving, Ferry Lake Trailhead. So that's also how it's called, Ferry Lake Fairy Lake. Yes, it's called Fairy Lake. Hopefully, it's like fairy tale land. We'll see. Oh, this this angle is like making me dizzy, bro. Oh my god! And just like that, we arrived. <gasps> this doesn't even feel like I don't know what this feels like. Why is there so many trees that fell over? What's going on here? What's been happening here? Why? Why? I'm actually seeing quite a lot of trees that's fallen over. This is insane. <gasps> This is so pretty. Oh my God, the water oh, is yeah, really, that's really good. clear. It reminds me a little bit of Austria or Switzerland that in is Europe. Beautiful. This is wild. That Look here behind beautiful. me. The lake is so, so pretty. And there's these beautiful trees all alongside the lake. I'm just gonna show you right now. Look at that. Wow. Yo, this is what I'm saying. Imagine something like this, bro, with cabins all on the side and like a bunch of us are there. Yo, that it would be a dream, mate. That would be beautiful. Look, we just don't have anything like this in the UK, man. Like, get together with some friends or family and just have a good time. You know what I mean? That's so good. Yeah, guys, I'm actually so jealous. Cold. I'm actually like, so I wish I jealous. Could swim in here. Look how beautiful the water and everything is really well. perfect to swim. But the temperature is unfortunately not allowing it. So sad. Oh no, we definitely need a hot temperature if we're going uh if we're doing like a pool thing. We're gonna have to find we're gonna have to find one of these where it's hot. And just like that, this video is coming to an end. I can't believe my first week in the USA is already done. I explored already so much. I went from city life. Yo, this is what I'm saying. She just says her week is already done. She needs longer, you know what I mean? That's why I'm gonna have a plan between two weeks and a month, bro. Cause I know, I know it's not gonna be enough. Really good video. Love checking out Chicago and Wyoming. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you give a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. Live every single day on Twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. If you guys wanna check me out over there, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.